Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm just going to give you my verdict on this whole stock market news channel type thing I asked about last week. I did a video where I asked you guys what you thought about me doing a stock market news type channel and making a new channel. I got a ton of great feedback. The response from you guys was overwhelmingly yes to do it. Some of you guys suggested other innovative ideas like me doing a, a weekly series on this channel or something like that. So my verdict basically is I am probably going to do it. I'm probably going to do it. It's like 90% sure right now. I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to rush this decision and just put it out there because I want to do it the right way. That new channel, I want to have my strategy down on, on how much I'll actually talk about each subject. How many subjects will I even cover per day? You know, what I want the format to look like. Do I want a ticker bar symbol to go on the bottom of the screen? All those types of things. And basically the channel, once again, I want to reiterate what I'm thinking is it's not just like a news channel where you're trying to get news. I'm going to cover the biggest stories in my opinion, in my opinion, what the biggest stories were that day in the stock market. And I'm going to give my take on those stories. So say like right now, for instance, AT&T is trying to acquire Time Warner Cable. And that's a huge, huge acquisition. We're talking like $85 billion. Well, if I had the stock market news channel, I could go ahead and give my opinion on that news story today and say, you know, is that a great deal? Is it going to work out? What are the potential catalysts and all those types of things? So it could be like a learning experience and just kind of hearing me speak about a subject like that. And maybe you can kind of change your thought process or kind of see how I look at it at least. So that's what the channel would be about. And once again, I want to reiterate that nothing, if I do start that channel, nothing with this channel will change. I'm going to still do five to seven uploads per week. Right now I'm doing like seven. I'm doing one per day, it seems, recently. And so nothing's going to change with the financial education channel. I'll still be talking about stocks and doing all the same series I do, all those kinds of things. So nothing changes with this channel. But here's my next point. Right now I'm very busy. I'm very, very busy between this channel, between my actual business, and between having a family, I got a kid, I got a wife, so I'm, I'm busy doing a lot of things. Here's my thinking. I started this channel, the Financial Education Channel, in around January of last year. It was just after the New Year's. I think I created the channel or maybe posted my first video on, I believe, January 5th, January 5th of, the, of, this, of this year. So what I'm thinking is, I'll think about this process over the next month, two months, so November, December, and get my, my whole, I guess you could say, theme set up and whatnot, how I want to do the channel, and then maybe right after the New Year's, I could officially start it. The reason being is my business kind of will probably drop off a bit. My regular business will probably drop off a bit in the month of December, January, February, because basically I do a lot of community related stuff and all the trees die that time of year. So not a lot of people want to do community videos, community photos, all that kind of stuff. And that's a, that takes up a decent amount of time, maybe 20%, 30% of my time each week doing those type of projects. So I'm going to have more time and I can either use that time to go ahead and try to reach out to new customers in that business, or I can use that time to create this new channel. And right now I'm thinking I want to create this new channel and see how it goes and try really hard for two, three months, and then see, you know, are videos sticking? Is it something I'm really enjoying doing at that point with that news channel? Or is it something I'm just kind of like, you know what, I'm just dreading this, I'm not enjoying it. And if I'm not enjoying it, then I'll just probably just end up throwing it away. But I don't really want that to happen because if I spend time in something, I don't really quit it. I make sure it works and I figure out a way to make sure it works. I'm just that type of person. So we'll see how it all plays out. But Regardless, I'm probably going to do the channel. That's take number one. Take number two is I was probably not going to be for at least a couple months. Probably we're looking at the beginning of January because I got a long trip planned in December. So I'm going to have to film videos for this channel in December, like prior to the trip, so I can still release videos while I'm gone and whatnot. And all that good stuff. And other than that, that's about it. Leave me any comments if you have any comments on this. If you guys are looking forward to this channel, I know you guys are based upon the last video, so I don't really need any more feedback necessarily. You guys gave so many thumbs up to that video, and you also left so many comments encouraging me to do it, so I'm looking pretty forward to it. I'll keep you guys updated on all this, this whole process as time rolls on, 
and we'll see how everything goes. Thank you for joining me, guys. Have a great day.